Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. So ever since beating the first level of Mario Bros with voice commands, I've wondered, could you beat a level nine CPU in Super Smash Brothers with only voice commands? It really shouldn't be that hard, so I used the voice bot program again, and I built a voice command for every basic Smash Bros move. So if I say the word left, it'll move my character left. Saying right will move him right, A will be my neutral attacks, and B will be my special attacks. And then I gave it a shot against a level one Pikachu to warm up, which should be pretty easy. All right, start. A. A. <laughs> A. A. Left. Uh, right. B. B. R. R. Le <laughs> left. <laughs> Left. <laughs> no, right, right. <laughs> Turns out level one Pikachu is lightning fast compared to voice commands Mario. There's like a one or two second delay before Mario actually listens to my voice. So I can't properly react to what Pikachu is doing. And then because of this, you're gonna be at more and more of a disadvantage the longer the game goes on because Pikachu can outmaneuver you and keep knocking you farther away off stage. <laughs> Start. I got fucking rocked. <laughs> so to actually pull this off with voice commands, we gotta go fast. Here's the plan. We have to take out the CPU as quickly as possible and end the game before he can start knocking us off stage. To do this, add in the smash attacks voice command. Smash attacks do far more damage than your basic moves and they're easier to land. So these are gonna help us deal that damage quickly and then take out the CPU fast. Our target's gonna be Pikachu because his attacks have a short range and therefore are a little easier to dodge. For the stage, pick Corneria. The big challenge with voice commands is that if you're knocked off stage, it's very hard to get back on. And since Corneria is the widest stage, it buys us the additional time to blitz Pikachu with damage. Corneria is also very fast. It is a spaceship. Now you combine all of this together and now you're ready to play some high level Smash Bros. Right, right, uh, right smash, left smash, left smash, dude, right smash, left smash, <laughs> right, right smash, left, Smash. <laughs> Left dash attack. No, no, no. Right, 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 right. Mario is slow and terrible. His attacks have a pretty short range, so by the time you're able to hit Pikachu, you'll just get hit first, right? So now you should switch over to Donkey Kong. His smash slap has a much longer range than Mario, so you can build damage on Pikachu at a safe distance without getting too close. Plus his charge up punch move works really great as a finisher and it doesn't take a lot of actual inputs. Start. B. Right smash. Right smash. <laughs> right smash. Right smash. Left. Uh, B, 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 <laughs> right, B, 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 uh, left, 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 right smash, left, 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 left. So Donkey Kong is a big improvement, but it takes some practice before you can start reliably hitting smash attacks. But in the meantime, you should add a right jump and left jump command. These are set up to cause DK to jump at an angle, and that'll drastically help you recover back onto the stage if you're knocked off. And now you are ready for some high level smash bros. Start. Right smash. Left smash. Right, uh, left, right smash. <laughs> Punch. A. Right, right jump, right jump, right, right jump, right. No, no, no. Left jump, left jump, left jump. No. Right smash, left smash, left smash, left, <laughs> left jump. Right smash again. Right smash again. Right smash, right smash, right smash, right, right smash, right smash, right, uh, left, left, left smash, 
Left smash. Left. <laughs> Fuck! Goddamn fighter jet. Sorry. <laughs> Roll it back, <laughs> sorry. Turns out Corneria has some issues. So on this stage, fighter jets swoop in and shoot lasers around the map. Normally you would just easily dodge these by moving around, but since Donkey Kong likes to ignore you and just stand still for long periods of time, these lasers end up connecting a lot and they'll kill you in fights that you might otherwise win. Left smash, let it ride, left smash, left smash. Fuck, right jump, fucking right jump. Uh. Items are also like a big problem. It's incredibly difficult to get Donkey Kong to move to the right spot and pick up an item. No, 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 uh, uh, no, no, right, 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 left punch, fucking. So instead Pikachu will just like slowly waddle over there and beat you to pretty much every single item. And really this means that items actually give Pikachu a huge advantage since he's the only one using them. And unfortunately you can't turn off items until you've played a hundred matches, which I have not. Left smash. No, 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 uh, punch. Punch, left. A. <laughs> no. Uh, right, 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 right. Move right. Jump. Uh, right jump. Right. Oh no, uh, left, uh, left smash. Left smash. <laughs> left, left dash attack. Left dash attack. <laughs> right jump! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? There's one foot from a hammer and the jets just like swooped in. Right smash. Left smash. Left smash. Okay. Uh, left. <laughs> left jump. Uh, punch. Jump. Punch. Let's fucking go. Woo! God damn. In just under an hour, you'll have beaten a level one Pikachu. And now it's time for a level nine. But with Donkey Kong and his smash attacks, it shouldn't be that much harder. Right jump. Right jump. Right smash. Shit, jump, 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 jump. Fuck, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking God. Uh, left jump. <laughs> Turns out level nine Pikachu's pretty fucking fast. Uh, left smash. Left. Right, right. Start. Left jump. Start. Left smash. Left. 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 Are you fucking <laughs> right smash? At level nine, Pikachu will actually use his shield. So he just blocks most of your attacks and spamming smashes doesn't really work anymore. He'll also use that dodge roll now and then attack you from behind before you can even turn around to hit him. Left, uh, left, left smash. Left smash. <laughs> <laughs> Left smash. But yeah, if this speed plan is gonna actually work on a level nine, you need a more reliable way to deal damage. So try moving Donkey Kong down into the bottom right corner of the stage. Down here, you can back yourself up against a wall and spam smash attacks outwards. This way, Pikachu can't just easily jump behind you to dodge your attacks. And so it dramatically increases the chances that they hit. And now you are ready for some high level smash bros. Left jump, left jump. Right jump, right jump, right left, left, <laughs> uh, right smash, right smash, right, sm right smash. Okay. This corner does help a lot, but it's still not enough. Pikachu is just too good at dodging smash attacks and then flushing you out from above. So now add in a voice command for Donkey Kong's ground pound attack. I'm gonna try adding the down B start. This move makes him pound the ground for a prolonged period. So it punishes players who are approaching from practically any position. This is particularly important because it prevents Pikachu from pushing past you. And if you can combine this command with Corneria's corner, then we can quickly and consistently cause 
casualties to that cunt Pikachu. But important to note here, Ground Pound doesn't kill Pikachu on its own, so you still need to land a smash attack or an item to actually finish him off. And getting that final blow is the hardest part. You have to survive long enough to deal that damage and then wait for the perfect opportunity to finish him off. Right jump. Ground Pound, Ground Pound, Ground Pound, Ground Pound, Ground Pound. Just fucking ground pound, ground pound. Yes, yes. Ground ground pound. Left smash. Left smash. Left smash. Oh! Ground pound. Uh left jump. Left jump. Left jump. Left jump. Left. Left jump. Left jump. Left jump. Left jump. Left jump. Fuck! Ground pound. Ground pound. Right, 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 right. Left jump. Ground pound. Left. A. A. Left jump, left jump, left jump. All right. Right jump. Right jump. Ground pound. Oh. Ground pound. Left. Ground pound. Ground pound. Fuck! <laughs> left jump, left jump. Uh, uh, oh, left, left. Right smash. Fuck, right, uh, smash, smash. Right, right, right. A, 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 A! Press fucking A. God! Right smash. Right. Oh! Happened? Fuck yeah! What the fuck just happened? How do I even win? What the fuck just happened? Just like we planned, you start by ground pounding Pikachu to prep him for that final punch. But I took way more damage than Pikachu in the process. So when Pikachu chased me to the center of the stage, a random bomb happened to walk in from off screen. And since Pikachu had just dodged, the bomb hit both of us before Pikachu could reactivate his shield. Now, normally I would have died faster because I had so much more damage, but in Smash Bros, if you are knocked off the top of the stage specifically, then you'll fly off into the sunset for a few seconds seconds before you technically die. And since I had so much damage, this bomb shot Donkey Kong straight upwards and triggered that star animation while Pikachu shot to the right and died slightly before Donkey Kong's death animation finished. Fuck yeah! Oh, I did it. That counts. I technically beat... <laughs> I beat a level nine with only my voice. That's right, Pikachu, you little fucking ball of cheese. That shit was horrible. <laughs> Start. In summary, to beat a level nine CPU with voice commands, you just need to play Donkey Kong on Corneria against Pikachu with items, get into the corner, ground pound, take a lot of damage, hit a bomb and fly off the top of the screen. But frankly, it's easier to just use a controller.